I don't recognize that. I never saw it before, honest. <laughs> I finally figured out, by the way, where that red came from. I just learned that a little later on, Warren's going to do a segment on refilling your inkjet cartridges, and there's magenta everywhere. Everywhere. Ray Maxwell, the man who taught me magenta is not a real color. That looks like a real color to me, but that's I, true. <laughs> it's faking, yeah. You know. <laughs> Ray is a color scientist, a photographer, um, a, uh, a raconteur. He tells great stories. He's a historian, a pilot, and uh, today he's going to show us. Uh, a little plug-in for Photoshop right. uh, that's just uh, taken the world by storm. It's mm -hmm. called Color Effects from Nick mm -hmm. Software. Right. And uh, I got a review copy, and I've just been playing with it like crazy. But we thought, this is the guy. <laughs> this is the guy who should review it, because he's a color expert. So, yeah. first of all, what does it do? All kinds of things. There's Everything. 52 filters <laughs> wow. built into this thing. And it's great fun. Let me say that right off the bat. It, you can play with this. You can kill more time with this than you know you ever imagined. Let's jump into it, and, and I'll show you some of the fun things. Now, I've got a picture here. This was shot over on Salt Spring Island. This happens to be Mount Maxwell. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> yeah. That's uh, that's your family's mountain, is it? Well, I don't know. It was a couple of brothers, I said, <laughs> cleared the land there. Okay. At any rate... Uh, so this is the picture before, normal. It's a beautiful picture. You know, picture. And yeah. I'll click preview, and I've selected a filter called old photo. It's like the Ansel Adams photo. Yeah, and instantaneously yeah. we get this old effect. And under old photo, I can go through a, a different color. Oh, so you do have more control than just picking yeah. a preset. Oh. Now I'm going to jump through wow, all of these. That. Now these are all, quote, old photo, but they're different colorations right. of old photo. Right, that's neat. And, uh, you know, I, I kind of am partial to this one up here. Uh, but at any rate, after, after you select that, you can then go in and adjust the amount of grain and the brightness. You can brighten it up, darken it up, you know, whatever. But you can play. I mean, it's almost infinite what you can do. Now, these are the things I guess you could probably do by hand if you knew what you were doing in Photoshop. Exactly. I was going to say that is one of the things about these filters, the majority of the filters, you can do these things in Photoshop, but it's a multi-step process. Right, right. It's much quicker, faster, easier. For somebody uh, like me who's not a Photoshop whiz, right. this is a, a nice tool because it gives me some basics right. that I would not know how to get to in many cases. Also, yeah, some of them that are multi-step processes, like four processes, are you going to guess what those processes are? Yeah, I you know, know. Yeah, where yeah. this, you can just play what if, right. zip through it, and immediately you know, see what's going on. Now, the thing, let me tell you some of the things I don't like about it. Okay. Number one, it's priced like Vista. It's very, <laughs> well, there's three different versions, aren't there? 15 filters, 99.95. Right. 35 filters, 169.95. And if you want all 52, it's 299.95. It's $300 is a lot for yeah. a plug-in. And, and this is the thing, I say, you know, Photoshop is 649. Right. And you get about 70 filters in it, right. and you get Bridge, and right. you get Adobe Camera right. Raw, and all the other stuff. But I, on the other hand, if you're a pro photographer or somebody who's doing this a lot, to have these, it might save you time, might save you money. Exactly. It might be worth your while. Right. You'd have to judge whether it's worth your $300. Exactly. So let's play with a few others. I'm going to jump down here to Solarization. And that's a cool effect. Isn't that a wild effect? Yeah. And now let me step through some of the colors in it. The problem with really a lot of these is you look at them, you immediately know that these have been, you know, played with. They're not, oh, yeah. you know, they're they're kind of they're really exotic. Yeah. And far out, you know. I like the ones that are a little more subtle, like that, where it could have been a, a monochrome shot, it could have been right. a black and white shot. Right. Exactly. And then people go, "Wow, that's neat." You know, you're shooting. Are you shooting uh, ASA 400 uh, black and white film? What are you? Exactly. You know? Yeah. Now I'm going to go down to a, something a little more conventional, and that's just a straight vignette here. And what's that doing? Well, we'll just bring it up. Oh, I see. And now I'm going to open up the size here. All right. And then you can go from around to an oval. Okay, you can adjust the edges, the opacity. You can again, you can play with these. Great for wedding photos. Yeah, yeah, and portraits and that right. sort of thing. Right. Now, Lightroom and Bridge have these techniques as well. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Exactly. And then I'm going to go to another one, which is, which is a variation on this one called Vignette Ooh. Blur. Oh. And again, I can adjust the size, but all it does is blur the edges rather right. than blank them out. Okay. These are artistic effects that are often used by pro photographers. Right. Yeah. And then you wa wanted uh, a, a strange film look. Let's go to infrared film. Ooh. Okay. And again, there's all kinds of variations. I'm going to go to some of the color ones. Ooh, pretty. You know. 
But again, if you're doing how much use now, are you going to have for like, that? Yeah. How much? How often are you going to use these <laughs> kinds of things? There are some practical ones. There's a flesh enhancer. Yeah. Now, did you play with that at all? Because I'm curious as to how valuable that would be. I tend to use Smart Sharpen in the right. For that, a similar effect, right? Okay, okay. and in, inside Photoshop. So you may not really need that. That's yeah. my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. Now, the one that I I thought was quite interesting in this is the uh, film effects, because people are always asking me. They're saying, Ray, now let me click this off a second. This is the before this is picture. Okay, this is this pretty is subtle. Very subtle. Yeah. But people are always saying, Hey, Ray, I want it to look like Kodachrome. I want it to look like Ektachrome or right. whatever. So I'm going to turn that on, and right now, this is Agfa. And now I'm going to slide down and uh, pick one of the Fujis. A little different look. See the greens come up? Oh, this is interesting. So you're actually saying this is what the film, if you shot yeah. it with different film, what it would, would have right. looked like. Now this is Kodachrome 200. In, in your experience, because I know you've probably used all of these films, yes. is this pretty accurate? Yeah, so so. Okay. Pretty good. But it's like a caricature. But, but again, you can go through and kind of pick and choose what you right. like. Now, let me go from Kodachrome to Ektachrome, and you'll see the see the yeah, greens yeah. go dark. Yeah, yeah. And stronger. Yeah. Now that a lot of people ask for that. Now the only thing That's is that's a good looking shot when you yeah. do that. I have to say, it's uh, good looking to begin with. But. Exactly. What when. Uh, People ask me for these old effects. Right. There are times when those are appropriate. Right. What I always say is, hey, guys, with Adobe Camera Raw and Photoshop, come up with a new effect. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. Don't get stuck in the old world forever. So your recommendation is? It's great to play with. Fun toy. Fun toy. Does lots of things. Has lots of adjustments. You can, you know, spend hours with it. I think it's a little pricey. Right. I'd rather see, I'd, I'd, you know, if they came out with 52 for a hundred and a quarter, 150, that's below my threshold of paying right. 300. Right. Right. All right. There you have it. Ray Maxwell, his review of Color Effects 3.0. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to talk about colors in just a bit, just two of them.